Welcome to Scientific Research Daily, the successor to my first podcast, Statistics Weekly. Every week I'll cover three topics, research areas, research tools, and research funding. I'm still getting my feet underneath me, so let's just jump jump right in to an abbreviated trial run. Science Research Weekly, hoo-how! Starting out with research articles, Science Daily covers three interesting papers. The first is Early Microbial Colonizers of a Short-Lived Volcanic Island in the Kingdom of Tonga. A diverse array of bacteria taxa was found, but interesting, not photosynthetic cyanobacteria, as was expected. Now, this island was destroyed on January 15th in a massive volcanic eruption. So talk about an explosive first topic. The next paper is a high quality Ioxides scapularis genome advances tick science. So a comprehensive genome has been sequenced for the black-legged tick, a parasite that transmits Lyme disease. So all sorts of bioinformatic goodies found in the paper and summarized in some of these pictures that you can see on the video podcast. The third is haplotype-aware panscriptome analysis using spliced pangenome graphs. So researchers used a panscriptome, which combines a transcriptome and a pangenome, so a reference that contains genetic material from a cohort of diverse individuals rather than a single linear strand. The panscriptome was used for analyzing gene expression in an individual. All right, turning over to Eureka Alert, covered two interesting papers. The first was the molecular evolution of genes previously associated with large sizes reveals possible pathways to cetacean gigantism. So researchers found evidence of the genes GHSR, IGFBP7, PLAG1, and NCAPG contributing to increased body size in cetaceans, or also known as whales. The second paper was the Dark Energy Camera Plane Survey 2, so DCAPS 2, more sky, less bias, and better uncertainties. The survey contains 3.32 billion stellar objects, the largest catalog to date. The data set is available and can be found at the Astro Data lab. Okay, we've finished up with research articles. Let's turn now to research tools. So, volume 105 of the journal of statistical software was recently released. Articles so far are CG Lasso, an R package for conditional graphical logical inference with censored and missing values. There is Deep Regression, a flexible neural network framework for semi-structured deep distribu distributional regression. There, we got it out. Then there is SP survey, sample, spatial sample design and analysis in R. And then jump diff, a Python library for statistical inference of jump diffusion processes in observational or experimental data sets. Okay, turning over to some SAS news. Rick Wicklin from the Do Loop talks about 12 blog posts on SAS from 2022 that deserve a second look. Topics are statistics and data analysis, simulation and bootstrapping, data visualization and ODS, and numerical analysis and matrix computations. Stats Analytica has a list of 15 Arduino project ideas for 2023. As a reference from the intro, quote, Arduino is an open source platform made for designers, hobbyists, hackers, and other people interested in making interactive environments or objects. It consists of a programmable circuit board and, a, and the Arduino IDE integrated development environment, software that is used to develop and upload computer code to the physical board. Neat stuff there. Turning over to our bloggers, they have some goodies to get going on. So our views, views some R conferences for 2023, like NICAR, ShinyConf, R Medicine, Bioconductor, and JSM. More details at that page. 
R on stats on R goes over web scraping in R with an example of scraping a table from, I believe, Wikipedia. It's a very useful introduction. It's certainly on my reading list as I want to keep growing my scraping skills in 2023. And finally, Dario Red Dekick explains three ways of imputing missing data in R using simple value imputation, imputation with the package mice, and imputating with the package miss forest. Then uh, there are new R cram packages week that could be sweet, and I will list them as follows. There is ggplate, create layout plots of biological culture plates and microplates, glimmer optim, approximate optimal experimental designs using generally linear mixed models, shiny.benchmark, benchmark the performance of shiny applications, blind review, blind reviews using forward search procedures, meta bias, meta analysis for within study and or across study biases, Evo TS, analysis of evolutionary time series, and OSA NMA, optimal sample size and allocation with a network meta analysis. We are done with tools. Let's finish out with research funding. There is a new FDA fellowship in understanding pathogenesis and improving detection of flaviviruses. NSF has four recent science and technology and other research and development grants. There is one on future manufacturing, one on the division of environmental biology, one on the division of molecular and cellular biosciences core programs, and one on the division of integrative organismal systems core programs. Try saying that seven times fast. Then lastly, NIH has two recent notices of special interest grants. There's one on research on the etiology early detection, screening and prevention of early onset colorectal cancer, and then not shown here. There's one on computation and statistical methods to enhance discovery from health data. Well then, boiling onions, thanks for joining me on this first episode of Science Research Weekly. I'm excited to start this new phase of podcasting with you. Have a great and scientific day.